<laughs> he left school at 16, he couldn't read and write. He is now the biggest manufacturer of valves in Europe. True. His valves are used throughout the world. They're a fantastic company and everything he does is complete and total perfection. Round of applause for that as well! Thank you very much indeed. So now we come, he's a mechanical engineer of great renown. His lads are behind me, they do restoration of motor cars, he's got every motor car I can think of. He's now gone into steam. And what better way to start than having something that once belonged to the great Fred Dibner. Now I've made umpteen television programs with Fred, and on one occasion we had the great steam gathering in Kendall. They had a steam gathering which took place on a beautiful spring morning. The previous night was the nighttime carnival procession. It's one of the biggest features ever, not only in Britain, but in the country. And every steam engine from anywhere was in the steam gathering. Fred and I led off the steam gathering. Now Fred, as you know, very down to earth, one to show up. And I said to Fred, we're televising this as they are today for Northwest tonight and nationwide. I said, what shall I wear, Fred? He says, wear your best clothes. So I had a beautiful pale blue linen suit with a pale blue silken cravat. We boarded the engine and led off the steam gathering. The next minute, he fired it up and I was covered from head to foot in the first five minutes in absolute crap. It was <laughs> the face was black, the suit was ruined, and Fred, of course, was in his overalls with his little flat hat. But he's a fantastic man, Fred, and I'm so proud to be here today to see his lads here, Roger and Jack, the boys, are here. They've restored Betsy. Michael Oliver now is carrying forward the famous Fred Dibner name. No better man could do it than Michael Oliver. I feel sorry about his hair today. Normally he has a perm before yeah, personal appearances. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's fallen by the wayside. But he's a great man. I just want you to appreciate how much time, effort, and money is going to making this beautiful piece of machinery here. He was born in 1912, 100 years old next year. The lads and Michael deserve a warm round of applause. I'm sure give him a now. Come on! 